Yo, what's up guys, Jamie Abes here, and here I have uh, just a video that I wanted to do. Uh, I may do uh, one or two more of these for the secondaries uh, and the equipment, or uh, whatever. But um, this is basically every single Modern Warfare 3 primary weapon, uh, assault rifles, including like everything up to shotguns and stuff like that. So here's the first screen of assault rifles, because there's quite a lot, I couldn't fit them all on one. So we've got the M4A1, the M16, the Scar L, which is the light version compared to the heavy version uh, in Modern Warfare 2. The CM901, that's new. The Type 95, that's new. And the G36C, returning from COD 4 back to Modern Warfare 3. Um, most of them are from level 1. I don't know why there's so many available from level 1. don't know what's really going on there. That's what uh, my sources said. So, uh, here we've got the second page, the ACR returning from uh, Modern Warfare 2, the MK-14, the AK-47, we all know the AK-47, and the FAD, um, which is sort of being said to be similar to a TAR-21. Um, this is unlocked at level 78, so it's obviously a very good gun if you unlock it that late into a prestige. Um, the ACR 6.8 at 50, so you got to go quite a way to get most of the assault rifles. Uh, moving swiftly on to the SMGs, we have got the MP5 back from COD 4, the original MP5. Uh, the UMP back from Modern Warfare 2, the PP90M1, this is a new one, um, onto the game. The P90, oh, we all know the P90. The PM9. Now, when I saw this, I thought it looked like a PM63, so maybe it's like a relative of that. And then the MP7. I uh, don't know what that is. It looks pretty good uh, from the stats and the level you unlock it. Uh, now we got the LMGs. We got the L86 LSW returning from Modern Warfare 2. The MG36, which is new. The PKP Petroneg. I think I pronounced that right. Uh, the MK46 and the M60E3 returning. It's a very, very close uh, gun to the M60 that we know from Black Ops. So there's quite a few new LMGs on the game, which will be nice to um, use when it comes out on Tuesday. Here we've got the snipers. Uh, we've got the 50 cal returning from previous Modern Warfare's. Uh, the L118A, which is a sister gun to the L96 that we know from Black Ops. The Dragonov, the AS50, that's a new one. The RSASS and the MSR. The last two are made by the same company, that's why they look quite similar. Um, the S50, a new one. We all know the first three, really. So, um, yeah, there's the snipers. And, moving... Finally, on to the shotguns on Modern Warfare 3. We've got the USAS-12, that's a new one. The KSG-12, that's a new one. The SPAS-12 looks to be the same as the Black Ops version. Uh, the AA-12 is coming back. I don't know what level this is unlocked. I couldn't find it anywhere. I don't know why. But um, if I, if any of you know, please do drop a comment. Uh, the Striker, uh, back from Modern Warfare 2. And the 1887, uh, back from Modern Warfare 2 as well. So, lots of Modern Warfare 2 guns back in Modern Warfare 3. Um, if you appreciated this video, if you thought it was any good, if you liked it, then hit that like button, favourite it, uh, that'd be much appreciated. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about Modern Warfare 3, uh, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, yeah, I might do another one of these for the secondaries and for the equipment. Uh, put that in one though because there's not as many but it took me quite a while to do the like board screen things so um yeah but i put the time in for you guys because good quality videos represent a good quality youtuber in my opinion so thanks for watching this has been james games hope you enjoyed the video see you soon Bye bye